hello everyone welcome back to the Chero tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix modern warfare 2.0 or 2 is having game ship exe error which is happening for many of the users right now and we're going to talk about how we can fix this error. so what we have to do is we just have to follow the instructions over here so uh, the thing is just as it is so the first one when you're having this trouble just reboot the game this did work out for many of the users so this is a very simple one and you just have to do is just click over here now close the game i mean if you're on the steam closing this is not a solution so what you have to do is just close the game then go over here at the top on the steam and there is an option called exit just exit the game after exiting the game you have to restart your pc as well so for that go over here in the start click on this icon go for restart after restart try to play the game and most probably this might be working and if it's not let's do second step that is run the game as an administrator for that we have two options either we go over here on this library and select the call of duty then we just have to right click and go to properties now go to local files now click on browse which will redirect us to the game installation folder now as you can see this is where the game is installed now from here you just have to scroll down and uh, just go over here and select the cod which is the application just right click and go to show more options go to properties now go to compatibility now from here you just have to click on run this program as an administrator now this is very important as well so run this program as an administrator so just click this go for apply and go for ok once it is done the game is running as an administrator so just try to launch the game and you can see sometimes the differences and if it's not let's move to third step that is all about you have to check for the updates right now as you can see i'm not having any updates here so it is up to date so you have to make sure the game is up to date for that keep in mind to make these changes in the setting we just select the game go to properties now go to over here in the updates over here keep this that is always keep this game updated only update this game when i launch it then high priority always auto update so set this to always keep this game updated and this is very important as well so once this been set into always this game updated so the game will be up to date like this which is going to help you guys out so this is very important step as well next one is all about you have to verify integrity of game file for that just go over here in the game right click go to properties go to local file click on verify integrity of game file so when you click on this you know uh, it will fix if any files are corrupted and if any files are you know uh, missing and all these kind of issues will be completely fixed and this is what you have to do now once it has been set this is what you have to do once it has been set most probably this will be completely fixed so this particular step is very important as well and it is very important that you have to do this or else you'll be having the trouble and some people used to neglect it so i request you should not be neglecting this this is a very important step so next one is all about you have to allow the game exe file to windows security for that just go over here in the control now go to control panel click on windows defender firewall now from here click on allow an app or feature through windows defender now over here you can see the modern warfare should be uh, set this up so if you scroll down and navigate to modern warfare you can see this over here call of duty has been added so call of duty both is added so you just have to if it's not added click on allow another app now go to browse over here as you can see this is the game installation folder so uh, if you know how to navigate to it it is quite easy or else just click on local c now from here go to program file x86 scroll down and navigate to steam now from here you just have to go to steam scroll down and navigate to steam apps go to common click on call of duty hq now from here you just have to select the respective one go for open and add it so why did i get the error because uh, you know uh, it's already added so you just have to add it and once done with add you just have to close everything go back to the game try to play it next one is updating the drivers for that just go over here in the start go to device manager now go to display adapters now nvidia geoforce rtx 2080 with max q design this is what it is you just have to right click go for update driver and make sure this is up to date 
and if it's not the same you have to make one more step that is the last and the least one which is all about you have to roll back the drivers so you select this one go to properties now go to driver now over here there is an option called roll back driver which is grayed out so you have to roll back the driver so rolling back the drivers has worked for many of the users because some of the updated versions is causing a lot of trouble so roll back the driver and once you're done with it just try to play the game so these are the possible workarounds which you have to try out and i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification see you soon in the next video peace out bye bye